Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to find the position of an element in the array using linear search method. So linear search method means we are going to sequentially look forward for the element that is to be searched from top to bottom. Hence it is called linear search method. Let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in angular braces we are going to write input output stream dot h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in a angular brace we will write console input output dot h header file now let us write wide main function curly open brace and here in a declaration section we are going to declare all the variables with the data type int a of size 50 so it is array of size 50 comma i is index POS is the position, ELE is the element that is to be searched, N is the number of elements that is to be inserted in an array. Next, we will write CLR, SCR function which is used to clear the screen. Now we will ask the user uh, how many elements. For example, here I am going to write Cout, stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark. I am going to write enter the number of elements. So end the double quotation mark, put semicolon and we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator. Here I am going to take value of n and now we will ask the user to enter elements. Next uh, see out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter the elements. So backward slash n, end the double quotation mark and put semicolon. Now using for iterative statement we are going to insert each and every element one at a time here i am going to write for i is equal to 0 i is less than n and i plus plus now we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene statement here we are going to use the array a of index number i next we will go for asking the user to enter the search element c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write enter the search element uh, then end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and here we are going to receive the response from the user through keyboard using scene stream extraction operator and then we are going to take this variable called ELE that is element and put semicolon now I am going to initialize this variable position is equal to minus 1 so that indicates it's a null position so whenever i write minus 1 it is a null and uh, always array whose index number starts from 0 so that's the reason in order to indicate null position we have to write minus 1 so we are going to study why we have to initialize pos is equal to minus 1 once we take an example now let us go for writing looping structure for same loop i is equal to 0 i is less than n and then i plus plus and in this iterative statement we are going to have one selection statement if statement here i am going to write element ele if it is equal to a of i means we will start from a of 0 1 2 3 and so on up to n n minus 1 if any of these index number value matches with the element then that particular position is to be returned so here curly open brace i am going to write the variable position is equal to i so i value will be immediately equated to this and it has to uh, bring the cursor or bring the control out of this particular iterative statement once you find the element in the particular position so for that i'm going to write break and then curly closing brace for this if statement now we are going to write one more if statement here we will write if position is greater than or equal to zero so we may get the element that is to be searched in the first index or it may be present in uh, the index number greater than zero okay so here i'm going to write c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i am going to write the element 
and the double quotation mark and we are going to write ELE variable so which is going to print the value stored in ELE and in a double quotation mark is present at position and the double quotation mark and here stream insertion operator I am going to write POS that is variable that is holding the value next I am going to write stream insertion operator and here and if this is false then else part will have to get execute so here I am going to write C out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark I am going to write the search element and the double quotation mark ELE and the double quotation mark sorry uh, start the double quotation mark is not present so enter double quotation mark and then you can write stream insertion operator and L and here we are going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for main function now let us take an example here I am going to write output so once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the number of elements here I am going to write enter the number of elements so now uh, I am going to enter 3 n is holding value 3 and now we are asking the user to enter the elements here I will write enter the elements so just because of this backward slash n cursor come down to the next line for example I am going to enter numbers 1 2 and 3 so it will be mapped in a memory something like this in a consecutive blocks of memory whose index number starts from 0 1 2 okay because we have taken three elements here so just because of this iterative statement for and scene statement we have inserted three elements next it is going to ask the user to enter the search element i am going to type enter the search element and here for example i am going to enter two okay next ELE is holding what? ELE is equal to now 2. Correct. Next position is set to minus 1. For i is equal to 0, i is less than n, i plus plus. If element, element is what? 2. Here I am going to write if element means 2 is equal to a of 0. Because i is 0 for the first time. 0 is less than n is 3. 0 is less than 3. Yes, condition is true. Then we are going to check this condition. Element is 2, a of 0. a of 0 consisting of what? 1. So whether 2 is equal to 1, no, condition fails. Once the condition fails, then these two statements will not get executed. Again, control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 because of this i plus plus. Now i value is 1. Next, again, we are going to check out the condition. If element is same, 2 is equal to a of i value is 1, a of i is consisting of 2. So here 2 is equal to 2, yes, it is true. Once it is true, it is going to initialize the value of i to the variable position. Here I am going to write POS is equal to the i value is 1. So once it is true, the control enters into this body of if and it is going to initialize i value to position and it encounters break. Automatically, the control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to check out the next condition. If, here I am going to write if position is what position is 1 greater than or equal to 0 yes it is true if it is true then it is going to print the element what is the element 2 so it is a variable that is holding 2 is present at position at position so position is what position is holding 1 so it is going to print 1 uh, and one more alternative we have here else part okay so now let us take an example for even else part so in this program once again if i compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the number of elements for example uh, i'm going to write enter the number of elements now i'm going to enter same uh, number of elements that is 3 only okay next it, will, it is going to ask the user to enter the elements so here I'm going to write enter the elements so now I'm going to enter the same numbers once again 1 2 3 so it will be mapped in a memory something like this 0 1 
2 right yes next so we are going to write enter the search element now it is going to ask the user to enter the search element for example i'm going to enter 4 okay yes next we'll check out this particular condition ele is 4 now okay next for i is equal to 0 i is less than n i plus plus if element element is what 4 now we'll check out here if element is 4 is equal to a of 0 consisting of what a of 0 consisting of 1 so it is false right so once again i'm going to go for for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 1 so element is again 4 is equal to a of 1 consisting of what a of 1 consisting of 2 so 4 is equal to 2 no again condition is false again control transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 now i value is 2 so element is 4 is equal to a of 2 consisting of what a of 2 consisting of 3 so here 4 is equal to 3 no condition is once again false control again transfers to for loop by incrementing the value of i by 1 correct here uh, i value is now 3 3 is less than 3 no condition fails once the condition fails control comes out of this looping structure and it is going to check out this condition so what it is going to check here you can see we have if position so what is the position value now because uh, every time we have checked this condition it was false hence this particular uh, instruction that is initializing value of i to the position is not executed at all right so here the position value which was initialized as position is equal to minus one right so here position is what now i'm going to write here it is minus one which is greater than or equal to zero no condition is false once the condition is false then the else part will get executed so what is the else part the search element is here it is going to print the search element so what is element 4 here in this case is not present now let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see I have already written this program in Turbo C++ compiler to save your time. Let us compile this program by pressing Alt F9. Here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error. And now I'm going to press enter. Let us run this program by pressing Ctrl F9. Now you can see uh, it is asking the user to enter the number of elements. For example, I'm going to enter 3 and press enter. Now it is asking the user to enter the elements. I'm going to enter 1, 2 and 3 and then press enter. Now it is asking the user to enter the search element. For example, I'm going to press 2 and press enter. The search element 2 is present at position 1. Now let us execute this program one more time by pressing Ctrl F9. Here it is asking the user to enter the number of elements. I'm going to press 3 and now it is asking the user to enter the elements. I'm going to enter 1, 2 and 3 and press enter. Now it is asking the user to enter the search element. Here I'm going to enter 4 which is not at all present in an array and now I'm going to press enter here you can see it is displaying the search element 4 is not present I hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you mm -hmm.